Next up, what we need to look at in the contract, is the name of the school the same as the one you were told during interviews? And has it been spelled correctly? So that's also very important. So for example, this contract right here, as you can see, they have logo. Usually um, school contracts, they would have a logo at the top. If it's like a big chain school or even a smaller school, they would have their own logo. And so that should be on the contract. Um, and so is that the same as, you know, the school that you interviewed with? Is that the same name? Is it spelled the same way? Um, you know, a lot of different countries um, have like um, not the same copyright uh, laws like we have maybe in your country. So there can be a lot of like knockoff schools, especially like if it's a super famous big like school chain that has a certain name, for example, ABC College. And then there could be knockoffs like... Um, you know, ABE college or something, or ABC um, college, but spelled with an A or something like that. So there's a lot of like knockoffs um, and they can't really do anything about it because of their copyright laws. They're not the same. So just make sure that the name is the same as the school that you interviewed with. And then also does the logo match? Is the logo the same? You know, check out if they have a website, make sure that is the same name, the same logo. And also like typically it'd be like here, obviously at the top, the header would have the logo and like the name. And then also it should be mentioned again in the text. So usually the first paragraph where it says, this is a contract between, then there'd be your, your name um, and, ABC College and the name and also the address of the school. So the address should also be stated in the contract. Yeah, <laughs> that's it for, for that part, I believe. So yeah, make sure, very important. I know these, these are very simple things and uh, you're probably like, why are you saying this? This is like super, this is like common sense, but like, I feel like if you get the contract and then you're like so excited, I've heard this from so many teachers, they get a contract, you know, they're just so excited to go broad and they just sign, they just sign it without even, you know, paying too much attention to it. Um, a lot of teachers, they just pay the first contract that they get because they, they're so eager to go abroad. And I get it, you know, it's super exciting. You wanna go abroad, you wanna go to China, you wanna go to Thailand, wherever. Um, but it's really important that you take your time and review the contract. So those are very simple things, I know, but it's, it matters and it's very important. And I just want to, I have to say it. I just have to say it. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.